Hello, it's Anna here from Paper Craft Create and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be walking through one of the card sketches from the new Kendra's Card Challenge number 14 and I'll be using one of the Super Sponsors Fantastic Awesome Digital Products which is Poker Doodles um, Lily Ladybug Papers Set number 2 and also the Lily Ladybug Gardening uh, Digital Image which are just beautiful. So as you see me putting this card together, I'll just talk a little bit about firstly the Poker Doodles product. So if you're not familiar with using digital papers and images, this is a great place to start. They have some beautiful, beautiful papers and images. And once you download these products, you can use them multiple times, which is one thing I really love about a digital product. Um, the other great thing is with the images, you can actually size them to whatever size you need for your project. So, you know, if you're wanting something a little bit smaller, you can size it, you know, a little bit smaller. And also, if you wanted to make a, a large um, image for perhaps a scrapbooking page, you can also do that as well. Um, so I usually will use my printer at home. However, at the minute, it's just uh, out of ink. <laughs> so I just ran around to the local um, printing store and it's very easy just to print those off um, and, you know, just no hassle whatsoever. Um, what I do with my images, I usually work out what sort of size I'm going to use for my card and then I'll do maybe a couple of sizes around that and then um, I'll colour them in. And you can also get pre-coloured ones if colouring is not your thing, which is even better. And uh, you can certainly make up some very quick cards. I've cut out this Hello Sentiment in black glitter cardstock plus two layers of white thick cardstock. It'll just give a firmness to this sentiment and also a little bit of height on the card. Now I've coloured this beautiful image in Copic markers. I'll list the colours I've used below if you'd like to use them as a reference and the rest of the card will be fairly much the same as the card sketch intends. Now I have in fact used um, another pattern paper as my base. Sometimes you might just use a plain cardstock I just love these papers and really want to utilise them as much as I could. Now, I have only printed these out on regular copy paper, um, which I love to do when I'm going to be doing lots of layering because it doesn't add a lot of thickness to the base. However, um, I've used my tape gun <laughs> and uh, put it down crookedly, which is something I really don't deal with well. <laughs> However, um, I've, been, I've managed to pull it off and I'll just realign that one there. So just a little bit more about this little collabor collaboration hop that this video is part of. So we'd love for you to watch all the rest of the videos that are part of the hop. Um, we have a very convenient link to a playlist um, where you can watch them all. And there's also a digital um giveaway. Uh, once you've watched all the videos, uh, in the description box you'll find a form to fill out um, and the deadline to watch all these videos is April 12. Uh, now we'd also love for you to join the Kendra's Card Challenges Card Challenge. All the information to join the challenge, download the PDF so you know how to cut your papers and have a reference for all of the card sketches, which are great to use as part of the challenge as well as using, you know, later on for, you know, quick card makes, um, which I always refer back to, which I absolutely adore. So um, I'm just sort of putting the rest of this together. Now the card sketch actually didn't call for a layering of this sort of little piece, but I just, once again, I just love this beautiful checkered um, paper. So I decided to, in fact, um, use it as a, a layering piece as well. So, you know, don't be afraid when you're putting your cards together to, you know, add a little something. Sometimes, you know, some papers are similar and they need a little bit more, um, you know, contrast between them. Just make them your own and, you know, do what works for you. Now, you know, I've used four layers of paper here. So, um, you know, this is when I think that using just a copy paper is great because, you know, that could be quite bulky. Now, with my little focal arch here, um, that's a glitter stock um, in white. So I have um, 
what I'm going to do is sometimes instead of using like a foam adhesive to lift things off the page and just create a little bit of height, I just put a couple of pieces of cardstock. So this is a great way to use up your card scraps as well. And what it does, it just lifts it a little bit without making it a super bulky card, particularly if you're sending it in the post. I'd love to know if any of you out there use digital papers yourselves and images. Um, and if you have any great tips, I'd love for you to share those so we can all learn from each other. Now I'm, I'm putting this arch on and um, I'll just sort of centre that uh, both vertically and horizontally um, and just glue that onto it as well. Uh, now I'll actually be propping up my little image there on some foam um, adhesive. Uh, now because I'm going to adhere it to a glitter cardstock, um, although it is it is an adhesive, you know, I will also put a little bit of glue. So just make sure that it will stay just because of the texture. Uh, sometimes some um, glitter cardstock can make it a little hard to adhere just with a um, adhesive. So I'll go the double adhesive just to make sure that that all stays together. Now, a little bit more on the Kendra's card challenges. If you haven't taken part in one of these challenges before, I urge you to get into it, challenge 14. So all the details to Kendra's um, website and where you can download the PDF to um, gain all your bits and pieces will be um, linked below. And it's just a great opportunity to do some crafting and enter your cards into um, a you know, the competition to win some amazing craft goodies. So it's really a win-win situation. There's no uh, no harm in giving it a go. Um, and we have so many sponsors now. They're up to like 25 prize sponsors um, and well over $1,000 in prizes. Uh, it will run from the 1st of April through to the end of um, June 30th. <laughs> Had to think about that. So there's four challenges per year um, and, you know, each each quarter has its own set of prizes and um, sketches. Uh, so now just going back to the card sketch, um, now there was three sort of circles or shapes that to put on this particular card. I've decided only to go with the one um, at the very bottom, the very focal one. I've done that in a pink a glitter cardstock and um, I'll just use it uh, as a prompt to put on my little sentiment there which is um, I think come up has come up so cute I just felt with all that pattern paper I was probably a bit busy to add any more to it um, but really loved it thank you so much for watching please get behind the challenge and I hope that you enter and I look forward to seeing your entries in the Facebook group thank you bye